Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to discover all devices and their associated IP addresses and MAC addresses that are connected to the same router or Wi-Fi spot as you. So this works if you're at a friend's um, and all the devices connect to the same Wi-Fi router. It could work in public, like a public Wi-Fi spot, or if you are, um, if you have created like a fake access point. This will also work. So if you're new to this channel through this video, I recommend you go and watch my pen testing course because that's for people who are interested in pen testing methods such as ethical hacking and hacking into devices, computers, Wi-Fi spots, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Terminator. Now this is basically just Terminal. It works exactly the same. So don't worry if you haven't got Terminator. It's just an app that you can get through to um, in Kali Linux, but it works exactly the same as the terminal. So just open your terminal and you can follow along. So I'm connected to my router or my Wi-Fi spot through a USB wireless adapter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type nmap hyphen SN. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this terminal horizontally. And the second terminal, I'm going to type ifconfig. And the reason for this is I need the internal IP address of my attacking machine so the attacking machine is this Kali Linux machine so let's imagine this is a public Wi-Fi spot so you just get your WLAN 0 now this might be WLAN 1 for you might be WLAN 2 depending on how many Wi-Fi um, cards you have connected to your device I know mine is WLAN 0 because it's the only one I've got connected and next to INET is the IP address that we need so this is the IP address of my internal um, or oh, my internal IP address of my Kali machine. So I'm going to copy this So you can just copy it and paste it up here next to SN But what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the 12 with a 0 and then type forward slash 24 And essentially what we're doing here is we're scanning from 0 all the internal IP addresses connected to this spe uh, specific router and every internal device or IP address will be allocated from zero to the maximum, which is 255, I believe. So yours will be different. Don't worry, this down here will be different for you. It could be 200, it could be anything really, um, from zero to 255. And that's essentially what we're doing here because all devices connected to my specific router will start with 192.168.0. The same with yours. So whatever your router is, um, yours might be 201 followed by 168 followed by 2 So all devices connected that will start with the same numbers except the last so in this case 12 for me But my Apple device might be 2 So that's what we're doing here. We're scanning from 0 to 255 and any devices connected to a specific um, Internal IP address this will pick up so it's going to scan from 0 to 255 if a device is found at 6 or 2 or 8 70 it will pick it up so as you can see here these are all devices connected to my router so like i said this could be a public wi-fi spot so now we know the ip addresses of all the devices in the area and as you can see it tells you what device it is so we've got two apple devices connected to my router now if this is a public wi-fi spot and i'm trying to target a specific device i will still not know which one is which because there could be two Apple Mac devices in front of me with two people sitting at them There's the person I want to target and the person I don't want to target But I won't know if this IP address here is the person I want to target or this one So you can use other methods to find that out And um, most of that is discussed on my course But essentially you'd have to use a little bit of social engineering and you could send a specific device so you could pick one at random so you could pick this one at random send this device here some deauth packets because you know the internal ip address now so you can send specific attacks to that device even though you don't know which one it is you can send clever ones such as the deauth and deauth packets will disconnect the device from the wi-fi so you send it to this device and then you say to one of the two people that has a mac you say to them as your computer just been disconnected because mine's down you could just use social engineering and say to them my device i thought my laptop wasn't working then so is your wi-fi down and they might say oh yeah my wi-fi's just gone down now if that's the person you're not trying to target says to you yeah my wi-fi's just gone down you can rescan and then you'll notice that there's only one apple device connected to the wi-fi and then you know automatically that this device that is left this one won't show up if you disconnect it 
the device left that shows up will be the person you're trying to target so then you know that this ip address here is the person you're trying to target and then you can do stuff like dns spoof with it because you need the ip address for that um you could use it to inject malicious js and take over the computer and then at least you know that you're not attacking someone that you shouldn't be or you don't want to and wasting your time so there's certain things you can do um, you just have to use your head and that's the whole point of ethical hacking and pen testing but I thought that was useful to know you can also use if you open up your all your applications and type um, Zenmap you can also use this to scan the network so if you open Zenmap and it should be an application like this it's not a terminal you change profile to a ping scan and then you change target and you just type the same IP address in again replace the zero uh, sorry, but in my case, replace the 12 with a 0, fo followed by a forward slash, and then 24. So as you can see, it's exactly the same as what we typed in up here. You could literally just copy and paste it back into ZenMap. And all you need to do is click Scan. And it starts the scan. So MMAP Scan, and there we go. It's basically the same thing. It's just in, a or in an application. It's got a GUI, essentially. And there you go. All the devices here. So you can click on them. Um, and see their IP addresses but the same thing it doesn't really matter which one you use um, there's other settings here but you don't have to worry about that you just go to nmap output and as you can see here the MAC address and the IP addresses so that's essentially how to find the MAC addresses and IP addresses of each device I didn't mention why the MAC address is useful you that can be useful for many different things such as you could copy that mac address and replace your own device with the specific mac address if it was a secret network that only allowed a whitelist of devices a whitelist is basically just a list that only allows certain devices with certain mac addresses to connect but you could copy this and connect to the network pretending to be this apple device you could use the mac address for listening into specific packets and capturing and harvesting passwords that are passed through the internet by sniffing packets through Wireshark. So there's many different uses a or many different usage of that specific MAC address. So I'm gonna leave this video here for now. If it did help please do like, comment if you stuck with anything, I'll be happy to help. Subscribe for future content and I will see you all in the next video.